Boris wields axe in final act of authority as top Tory stripped of whip for defying PM. Boris Johnson has withdrawn the whip from one of his arch critics to buy a Selwood after the former minister failed to back his government in a vote of confidence last night. Mr. L. Wood, a former army officer, was a Remainer MP who has been a long term critic of Mr. Johnson over policy and partygate. He was even believed to be making a run for the leadership at one point but instead backed Penny Mordaunt. However, Mr. Johnson has now exacted revenge by throwing him out of the parliamentary party after he refused to back his government in a vote of confidence last night. The move could have consequences for the leadership race with Ms. Mordaunt losing one of her backers. Currently, she is 11 ahead of Foreign Secretary Liz Truss but now that has been reduced to 10. If Ms. Truss overhauls the trade minister by one then MPs may cry foul with the winner of the tussle probably heading to a final two runoff with former Chancellor Rishi Sunak. The Foreign Secretary's campaign has been flagging but even this small boost may help her get into a summer-long competition to be the next Prime Minister. Voting is set to continue today between 12 p.m. and 2 p.m. to decide who the final three are for tomorrow's vote. Mr. Elwood achieved hero status in 2017 during the Westminster terror attack after he ran to the aid of PC Keith Palmer who had been stabbed by the terrorist and tried desperately to save his life. But he has not seen eye to eye with the Prime Minister since Mr. Johnson took over as leader in 2019 and has not taken ministerial position under him. Instead, he won the election to chair the influential Defence Select Committee where he and fellow MPs have pressed the government on defence spending and criticised Mr Johnson for proposed cuts to the army of 10,000 personnel. The MP though insisted that he had been unable to return for the vote because of parliamentary business. Mr Elwood said said he was very sorry to lose the Tory whip but argued he was unable to return from a meeting with the President of Moldova due to unprecedented disruption.